right, finally we have Steam sale. Finally, I can buy all games, all my favorite games that I wanted to buy so much. All right, let's see what we have. We have Black Myth Wukong, of course. This is Game of the Year edition. Uh, Warhammer 40,000. Yes, give me two for me and for my little bro. What else we have? Skyrim. Of course, there's not enough Skyrim. Like, yeah, there's never enough Skyrim. So let me buy one more Skyrim. The Crew. The Crew, one of my most favorite racing games from Ubisoft. Yes, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. But, uh, um, I'm... It seems like I don't have that much time to play today. Well, I will play later one day for sure. I'm already retired. I have all those rewards in my back. So I have finally time to play my favorite games. Yeah, okay, yeah, where is... Wait. Where, where is my games? Where is the crew? Where is everything, Gabian? Gabian? Wait, what it says? Uh, it says you are cured the license. You're not purchasing the game. It is just the license. <laughs> no, my games! <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in, Nico Play is here and today we will talk about a very important topic that I think important for the whole world is about the digital purchases or is the piracy is thievery or is the purchase is the ownership. Let's crack into it. And the very first thing that I would like to mention is the assembly bill AB 2426 that being recently passed in the state of California and our governor Gavin Newsom signed this into the law that will come effective in 2025. So what is this law about you're gonna ask me? So basically it's um, AB 2426 consumer protection false advertising digital goods. Sounds pretty good right and really straightforward but let's go into a little bit more details what is this law is about so existing law makes it makes it unlawful for any person doing business in california and advertising to consumers in california to make any false or misleading advertising claim existing law makes a person who violates specified false advertising provisions liable for civil penalty as specified and provides that a person who violates those false advertising provisions is guilty of misdemeanor. So um, basically it states that if you tell someone that you just purchased a game, you just purchased a movie, you finally can go and do something very interesting with your game and then something gonna happen like with Crew by the Ubisoft the company French company and they will just take out your game and you won't ever will be able to play your most favorite racing game so what does it mean it means that I'm renting the game no it's not exactly it so recently Gabe Newell or Gaben how I'm gonna call him <laughs> pretty often mentioned that Steam uh, changed the agreement the purchase of license has been mentioned when you're purchasing any of the items it says oh you're purchasing the license you're not purchasing the product so many gamers kind of aware of that specific practice many other companies for example epic game store they've been telling all around the place that yes it's it's not the ownership but we give you the game to try and maybe something's gonna happen in 10 15 20 years we will take out this game you know it will no longer be available for sale like for example a good example the recent remake version of until down that came for playstation 5 uh, many of you are aware that you are unable to buy any more regular until down you can buy only until down remake which is i think it's a quite unfair what if i want to say you when what if i want to <laughs> played the same game that I played before right I don't want new graphics and it's BS and the optimization is horrible like like everything is horrible I want to play original game but unfortunately all those mega corporations don't want you to do that yes I'm not gonna say that Gabe Newell is doing something bad no he's doing something very very good let's let's take a look at steam it's one of the most popular social platforms yes i'm not saying it's a gaming platform I'm saying it's a social platform because people can share their reviews people share their thoughts they can show the screenshots videos uh 
sharing tools, mods, everything. It's not only about games. This is very important to know. But this is a digital, digital prison that I wanted to mention um, that we going to, we are into this digital prison. Look at the Netflix, Amazon, Amazon Prime, right? Yes, you're paying monthly subscription. Yes, you have those amazing, great shows, animes, everything. But uh, if somebody will pull the trigger, that's it. You no longer will be available to, pur um, to purchase anything, to watch anything, because it's not available. So you'll just waste your money, you'll just waste your time, and you will be waiting for the new shows, right? This is the purpose why every single month, every single year, they're trying to push bigger shows, you know, bigger titles. They want to sell you stuff, and again, you're not you're not possessing it, you're not purchasing, you're just kinda renting it. Yes, they say very loud words, and this is why uh, the governor of California mentioned that, yes, it's no longer a purchase. It's a renting or purchasing some type of license that you can use it until that license will suddenly expire. Uh, I'm not sure how law is gonna work in California. So what if I, let's say, again, I purchased the crew, right? And Ubisoft took it, took it out from me or like the crew too. Yes, yeah, the new game that came out from them. What if I want to play them? I mean, what if I want to, um, like, f um, you know, take take them out and go to, you know, the court. Will will California protect me? Will I get refund? Like, how it's gonna work in in state of California? So I'm not sure. And we that's why I want to memorize old good days with discs that probably won't be here no more. Yes, if uh, Switch Two is not gonna make the backward compatibility, you know, the cartridges and everything, and the future PlayStation 6 and Xbox, I don't know, Z or something, will make uh, just the digital version of the consoles, you know, no more discs. That will be a completely disaster, because uh, this is why many people, especially gamers and movie collectors, they're craving for the physical copies, because you have physical copy, you have a hardware, you can play it. That's it. Nobody will come to your house. Nobody will steal it. Nobody will take it from you because, okay, the license expired. You no longer, you know, can use it. So this is very important stuff to, you know, mention. And <laughs> the the very good trolling thing, like, you know, I would say troll because uh, people like to use this fancy words nowadays. Gawk. Good old games store by CD Project Threat, who created The Witcher 3. Uh, you know, they, they created Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, amazing games, like one of the greatest games in the world. And they've been saying in this book by Jason Schreier, it's one of the most famous writers, the, he works at Kotaku, and he took interview from CD Projekt uh, Red when he was like writing his book. I actually very recommend you this one, Blood, Sweat and Pixels. It's not advertising, it's just like I really like to read books, so and I like to share <laughs> about with them. So in his interview that he was taking from CD Projekt Red, he said, I mean, one of the one of the developers said that yes, if most of gamers, uh, you know, not at, at a certain age that they're allowed um, be able to spend their own money on games because they have other necessities, they don't have enough money, they need to spend somebody else. But when they will grow up, when they will become older, they will understand that they have to support the developers, they have to support the companies to make bigger games, better games, and continue on. And CD Projekt Red, it's one of those companies that from Poland that actually started from kind of illegal pirate business. They were selling as CD discs to consumers. They were just like standing on the bazaars, you know, like marketplaces and selling pirated CD disc of games because nobody were able to, you know, make those, um, nobody were able to purchase the license because of lack of money there was like no money in this country in poland back in the 90s and yeah CD project brad they understood that and this is why they created g good gog gog store and there's drm free so once you get the game that's it you got free installer you can use it you can do whatever you want with it in the future you can pass it to your kids actually steam does not allow you to do that so it's it's very 
it's a very complicated topic and I think uh, there is no solution. Because, okay, what do you wanna do? You wanna remove digital version of the game? You wanna do only the only physical, but we don't wanna create the lines, right? It's completely, it will be completely different, the logistics. Uh, imagine uh, Black Myth Wukong comes out and nobody can play it because there's, it's, it's not in stores, basically, or there's huge line or something. So it's very uncomfortable. Digital version of the games are super comfortable, right? You just download it. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just sit at your home and just download it. And yes, let's go, let's go. You can play it immediately. But if anyone can take your purchase, this is another concern. That's why you have to go for some safety, uh, some uh, concerns that you will upload the installer, right? Or game to your flash drive, you will hide it somewhere. It's like, okay, maybe one day I will play this game, right? This is also not right. Because you have to use the hard disk, like those Winchesters, HDD, hard disks, um, solid disks, all those uh, external things. And I think it's unnecessary. But um, again, uh, Governor Newsom, like again, this is not a political channel. We're not talking about politics. We're just ex explaining and I'm just trying to see the solutions that some officials are bringing in. Gavin Newsom is trying to protect consumers. He's trying to prevent a huge lawsuits when people will go to Steam or, I don't know, to Gabe Newell or Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games Store, and say, hey, you know what, Tim? Why you took out my game? Like, where's my other games that I purchased? And, oh, it's no longer in sale. Okay, but I used to purchasing it. So, okay, either return my money or return the game. And there is no option because, again, somebody has to store those games on the server, right? There is also you know, those difficulties with storing things and keeping things together. Okay, it's no longer in sale, but this bunch of people wants to download this game. Where can they download it from? So it's very, very difficult situation that people are putting themselves in. And future is obvious, I think. Everything will be digital. No wonder what we, what we you know, talking here about, what consoles will be. It's obvious, it's much easier to connect yourself to the computer and to the internet, Wi-Fi, just download stuff, play, delete, that's it, you're done. It's digital, right? Instead of go and buy some physical copies or like back in the days, there was like, you know, CDs with the code that you have to activate, you know, in terms of to prevent the also piracy, oh my gosh, that's Star Force or what is the name? Yeah, type in the comments if you remember the most brutal anti-piracy stuff on the CD and when you put another CD and there's like oh it's not readable because it's pro probably pirate and he's like no it's official licensed game why I cannot you know upload it I just upload from another computer no 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 you are allowed to use only once but it's already been used and yeah it was a completely uh, BS I want to say and another thing that I wanted to say is like DRM won't go anywhere. All those the newer things, all those things that you see, um, you know, copyrighted, you know, protected, you cannot do anything with it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yes, um, developers are making a huge mistake, in my opinion, for putting a DRM, because uh, more people will know about this game, more people will try this game, more chances that people will purchase this game. Yes, Cyberpunk, The Witcher, Elden Ring, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, like almost Alan Wake 2, yeah, oh, Silent Hill 2, right? <laughs> they all have no DRM, and look, they, they're very successful, they super successful, like Baldur's Gate 3, like, it came from very, very small amount of people of original sim, and they jumped onto Baldur's Gate 3, it was almost like, what, 850 or 900,000 people at the same time, I think it's, it's pretty good stuff. Yes, Black Myth Wukong, of course, it's it has Denuba, but again, it's uh, it comes from the Chinese market, and it's a very, very good game. It's very popular, it, very good graphics, good optimization, good story, you know, no those uh, agenda stuff in it. So yeah, it's it's pretty good game. And yeah, on this maybe quite not positive note, I would like to finish this game. <laughs> finish this game. I would like... On this positive note, I would like to finish this video and say a huge, huge thanks to all my supporters to, for, to make this uh, channel growing a little bigger. Uh, press like, put comment, and I'll definitely see you next time. Okay, yeah, should I say like license and piracy? License, piracy, yes, just, just as a main thing.
Uh, solution, there is no solution. Solution, okay, let me, wait, let me practice it. Solution, there is no solution. No, it's, it's pathetic. Yeah, I should not say that. Um, well, there is no solution. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel like I have to be more, more simple with this one, but I'm not sure. Okay, let me put, mm. let me put one more stuff and, all right, all right. Steam. Yeah, digital prism for sure. Digital, di digital, digital. One, two, three, four. Ah, or digital prism. Okay. Right, the realm won't go anywhere. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I think. Ugh, okay. My my T-shirt looks good. Okay. I'm looking good. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three.